my channel. It's Beauty by Christy. So today I filmed this look. I tried to use a lot of the orange that were in my palette. For this, I used the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Um, this is what came in their first original palette, so I don't know the name of it, but I will link it down below if I find it. To give a new fall look that's not so dark and vampy and another alternative for people that don't like to go so bold. So I came up with this. I hope you like and learn something new. It will be in its order down below. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys want to see next. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks, loves. Hi, guys. Welcome back. So let's pin this hair back so we can get started. Just wipe off any makeup that I already had on my face because I was out earlier. Following, I'm going to spray some... Scandinavia Primer Water and my usual moisturizer which is Charge Water. And following that I'm using Jin Zing from Origins. It's a refreshing eye cream to brighten and depuff. And now I'm using MAC Soft Ochre. Because I wanted the orange to be a little bit more brighter, I am following with a white base. And this is just NYX that I depotted milk pencil. I'm kind of scared myself here. I know, I look a little crazy, but trust me, the payoff will be amazing. Now we're following along with Anastasia's brow pencil. And I'm just concealing my under hairs because I didn't do my eyebrows. So I'm trying to make them look neat without having to do the actual work. <laughs> Following along with Anastasia Brow is in soft brown as usual. My favorite. Next brow. Man, if only we can do our brows this fast, ladies. Like, this is insane. Uh, this would be life changing, I tell you. Setting them with Anastasia's brow gel. And here I'm using Makeup Geek Speeches and Cream. And I'm sorry that the shadows are not so clear, but I wrote all of them when I used them. So all over base was Speeches and Cream. And then I put Chickadee in the crease. Now we're using Cocoa Burr to add some depth back into the crease. Following with Mango Tango. And I'm just going back into all of these shadows. And I'm sorry, I had to, I needed a brighter orange, so I used the Morphe 350, and as well, I used the green. Now I'm going back with the blending brush, and I'm just making sure to blend it all. Then here I'm using Cosmopolitan as my all-over lid color with some fixed brush to make it a little bit more vibrant. I went back in with the Morphe green, and in my tear duct, I used... Gold Digger from Makeup Geek and I just went back and forth with these colors if I needed more intensity or whichever one I felt I lost I went back and added some more of that color and I'm all done with blending we should have something like this time to make that wing and I'm using the NYX liquid liner in black this one is amazing for beginners, so if you see it, don't hesitate, snatch it up, trust me, it's worth it. Your wing eyeliner just, it, the brush just makes it so effortless, you don't even have to try so much. And make sure you have a steady hand, I find that putting my elbow on a table actually gives me more precision. For mascara, I am using Too Faced Better Than Sex. We all know how great this mascara is. I do not need to say it. Go buy it. But I don't know why I'm obsessed with the mini one. It just works better for me. Following that, I'm using Makeup Forever as usual. My step one priming spray. It's the smoothing one. For foundation, we all know what I'm using. My Holy Grail Makeup Forever Ultra HD. And this I am in Y385. 
Following that, I'm using the Master Conceal from Maybelline in the light medium. It's amazing. I don't even have words to say. Drugstar stepping their game up. As usual, I use the Beauty Blender and I'm just highlighting in the areas where I wish to. To set my foundation and concealer, I'm using Sasha Cosmetics in the Buttercup setting powder and I must say I'm actually feeling this a good friend of mine actually recommended it to me and I was a little etchy sketchy at first because you know we all love Laura Mercier but it did wonders um, I was impressed now here I'm using the sculpt and shape powder in the light medium Can you see how natural this contour looks on the nose? This face powder is life changing right now. I want it to be a little bit more bronzy so I'm adding MAC Gimme Sun as my bronzer. Now I'm going to clean up this contour with the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup and let that sit for a little. I'm sorry, I used a blush that is no longer available, my apologies, but you can use any orange. I just took them the same theme. And of course, for highlight, I had to use the Becca Champagne Glow in the Blush Copper and the New Pearl. And these two together are life-changing. I know I've said that in the whole video, but let me tell you, if you want to glow to the gods, you need this palette. It is amazing. The pearl shade mixed with the blush copper on my skin tone flawless it's amazing this brush it wasn't my favorite so you guys already know i'm obsessed with it it is the morphe brush and it just takes all the powder off like a dream i'm showing you how the sasha cosmetics looks up close and the buttercup was pretty good i'm amazed i'm following along under my under eye with the same shadows that i did up top and i'm just adding my arch with uh, Anastasia's Zip Brow in Chocolate because I felt like it needed to be a little bit more intense. For my lippy, I'm using Marshmallow from Colored Rain and it's a gray undertone. Um, it's just a nice neutral color. I personally love it. I can't stop using it. For lashes, I'm trying Violet Boss in I Do. And I have to say that these are dupes for Coco Lashes. Dupe alert, I'm telling you guys. They're exactly the same. Make sure to blend, ladies. And if you thought you blend, now go. Blend a little more, you already know. Finishing with my MAC Fix Plus to set everything in and that is it loves, here you have it. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next one. Bye loves!